Hey everybody, this is David at Next Health, and today I'm going to be talking you through our um, new waitlist feature. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a great feature for you to use uh, to fill cancellations, whether they're same day, whether they're upcoming cancellations. You can use Next Health's waitlist feature to send text messages to your patient, patients letting them know about openings in the schedule, um, seeing if they want to take these open spaces. That way your schedule stays full, you guys stay busy, everybody stays happy. So let's get started. I'm gonna click on a wait list up at the top of my screen in my Next Health account, and then I'm gonna hit this button that says New Request. So the way this feature works is gonna look a little bit different for those of you who might be used to it. Um, Next Health made an update to allow you to send these messages to not just patients who are on your ASAP list, um, or your short notice list or your sooner if possible list, depending on your practice management software, but also send these messages to your patients who may be due for an appointment for recare, who may be overdue for an appointment for recare. So let's think about our options. And we can talk about uh, each one individually. So let's say I have a spot open up today on my schedule or tomorrow on my schedule, and I need to fill that. I want to target patients who might be due or overdue for an appointment. I'm going to navigate to this right here that says continuing care only. So what we're seeing here is first, I'm going to choose my date range. So I, let's say I want to target patients who maybe were due, um, you know, from the month of September, technically they're past due right now, all the way to today. Next, I'm gonna choose my recare codes. So let's say I wanna target patients who might be due for this type of recare, this type of continuing care. So we'd be sending this message out to patients who um, are due for this type of recare and due between these dates. Next, I'm just gonna choose a provider. You can pick any provider here. It doesn't really matter so much. Um, you can really pick any provider for this continuing care list. And then I'm gonna choose the date and time of the appointment I'm trying to fill. So if I'm trying to fill a spot today, I can pick on a time here. If I want to change to tomorrow, fill a spot for tomorrow, I can do that. Or I can even look ahead um, further into the month and find a new spot. So I'm going to click, maybe I want to fill a spot on the 12th. Let's say I want to fill it at 3.30. That's when my opening starts. So I'm going to click this, 3, and then 3.30. If I were to click next, I would be able to see a full list of patients who are due for this type of recare between these dates from my practice management software, you can then send those patients a text message saying, hey, we have an opening November 12th at 3.30. Do you wanna uh, take this appointment? Patient replies, why or yes. We're gonna send you a dashboard notification. We're gonna send you an email notification. The only thing you'll have to do is um, actually move that appointment in your practice management software. Um, and there you go, you just filled that spot. Let's talk about the ASAP list. So with the ASAP list, Next Health is gonna send these messages to instead of patients who are due, patients who are on your ASAP list, like I said, it might be called something a little bit different based on your practice management software. So I would once again choose my provider, choose the time and the day of the opening that I'm trying to fill, hit next. I would then see a list of patients who have upcoming appointments, who are on my ASAP list, who have an appointment with this testing provider. You can then send those patients uh, the text message saying, hey, David, we've got an opening today or on the 12th at 3.30. Do you want to accept the same concept? Patient replies, why or yes. They get the space. We let you know. All you have to do is update the appointment in your practice management software. Now, let's say I don't want to do one or the other. I want to do both. I want to target patients on my ASAP list and my continuing care list. Perfect. I've got this option right here. So it looks pretty similar to what we just saw the both uh, um, of those two options. I can choose my due date range. I can choose my recare. I can pick multiple if I want. And then I can choose my ASAP list provider. I can choose uh, patients on my ASAP list that I want to target. Fill that space. Hit next. It combines those lists together. Text those patients. So once again, this is a great way to fill same day cancellations um, on your schedule and I hope you get some use out of it. I really hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please let us know. Um, as always, email support at nexthealth.com or give us a ring, 888-875-0851. Thanks so much.